All right, cool. I think my mic's working, hopefully, because I already did this video once. But what we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you how to make a it's 42 inches tall Christmas tree out of a 2 by 4 And it's uh, 28 and a quarter inch wide at the base. So I'm going to show you how I did this. So we're going to start off with the 2x4, and the top piece, the one piece is 16 inches long, and we'll do a 45 degree cut on one end. I'll set this up here for now. So I'm cutting this piece here. We got a 45 degree angle here and a 22 and a half there. And that's at 16 inches long. And we want the angle, the long end, the long end on the same side. We'll turn that to 22 and a half. It's the same side. So we'll go ahead and so that's that piece right there. So we'll set that down. Now this one has a 45 degree angle cut there and 22 and a half here. And that is at 14 inches long. So we already got the 22 here and the long and long are on the same side. So go 14 inches. And if you can build a bunch of them, it's nice to just set a jig up. Set a jig up and just cut a bunch of them at the same time. So that one's that that one's that piece right there so we'll set that down now we're gonna cut four of these at the same time <clears throat> and they're all 22 22 and a half so I'm going to adjust this 22 and a half <laughs> They're 15 from long to short. So, I don't know if you can see this here. I have this little piece here I'm going to put on, and I'll clamp it down once I get it to where I want it. So those are 15. So, I'm going to cut my first piece. It's on the same angle, going on the same angle. Now I'll set my stop up. So now the rest of them are going to be just the same size. All right. <clears throat> then this bottom piece is or twenty eight, twenty eight and a, a quarter from long to long, and those are the same same angles. So I already got this one here cut. So you're gonna use a little over a one two by four on this project. 
Um, I will have one, so if you follow along, I will have another one that will use just one 2 by 4 I'm going to do at least two different sizes. And with this plan here, you could use you could do one by or two by sixes, two by eights, two by twelves, and you can put little shelves in here so you can stack stuff if you want it inside for something bigger. <clears throat> so we're at twenty-eight and a quarter. So we'll just cut that. We've got that piece there, and then I'm going to cut that base. And I don't mind this size base. I guess we'll stick with that. So we're at 14 and a half. No, I'm going to go 12. Go 12. Go 12 inches on that one. That'll be our that'll be our base. You can put it either way you want it. So set that one down. So I'm using two and three quarters inch screws. Should be shorter than uh, three quarters, three inches. Should be shorter than three inches. So I'll take these two, the top top two pieces. <coughs> And I'm going to mark on a from the center here up there, and that's where I'm going to want to drill, drill my holes on that angle. And I go about three quarters in on both sides, and you got the line there, so it'll look look nice. I'm not going to glue them. You can glue them. But if I ever want to reuse these pieces, you know, it's a yard, they go out of style. So I'm not going to fill the holes or anything. I'm going to just uh, screw it. And if I want to use the pieces again, they're still pretty decent sized pieces. All right. That's the first piece. Now these ones go on the inside, and I keep forgetting where I put my pencil. We'll let them overhang about two inches. <clears throat> so I'm going to drill. These are going to go straight. straight in. So I'm going to drill from my mark to here. I'm going to drill right in the center of there. Straight straight in. If you wanted to mark it so you're more exact, you're more than welcome to.
All right. You could go one more tier if you wanted to, but it'd be quite a bit wider on the bottom. I'll make sure I had to redo this again because my, I didn't have enough memory on my camera. If I'll wait until the end or want to scroll by, I'll have a, a quick drawing, but I'm going to redraw it with the measurements on it. If you want to do the same thing, just mark it through the center so you know exactly where you want it. But this one I'm going to screw in the bottom, just through the bottom. We two less screws you're going to see, anyways. Probably made that a little shorter. Other one was. Uh, joints look good. Might have just had a little. Now this bottom piece you can. Guess it's up to you if you want to look like that or look like that. I'm going to go like that. So you want to find the center, 28 and a quarter, so that's 14 and eight. And this is. 12, so we're going to go 6. So there's that. I wanted to see how long it took to make this. And I did take a little bit longer. But if you made a bunch of them at one time, <clears throat> you would shave a little bit of time off it. But not, not a whole lot. Where were we at? About 15 minutes for one. <clears throat> but now you got, you got to sand it, paint it. If you can put Christmas lights on it or something like that, what I'll probably end up doing. And, uh... Yeah, I'm off on that. That could have been moved. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you can. it's a nice yard or porch one. And I will make different sizes. I will make one that I'll have a full 2x4. It'll be smaller, of course, but i got to get the measurements of that one. So uh, thanks for the follow. If you have any comments or anything, let me know. 
Let me know what size uh, what size you would like to do. There's a lot of them out there with the one buys for tabletop decorations and stuff like that. And I made them last year. I don't think I have them on a video, but anyways, uh, I'll take a picture of my little little measurements there, and if that helps you out, and then I'll do a better drawing and probably do another one. Probably do one out of a two by six or two by eight. That way I can have some shelves here. I might actually make them a little bit bigger, where I'm using almost two, two full ones. But and then, if you want to take it apart, <clears throat> store it away for the winter, you can. If you glue it, you're not going to be able to do that. But of course, it'll be a little stronger if the wind blows it around and whatnot. <clears throat> but I am using a uh, two and three quarters inch screws, so they do. You don't want to use three; they'll come all the way through. And you don't want to use. Usually, when you run your screws, you want to have at least an inch and a half the thickness of this and in the same thickness, half the thickness in here. So that would be, what, inch and a half, two, yeah, two and a quarter, almost perfect, perfect screws. Anyways, thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a good day.